Welcome to Lecture Online, and now we're going to take a look at the next two probability calculations. And here we are dealing with the probability of not getting H, and here we're dealing with the probability of getting an H, then a D, then a 2. Well, let's find out what this is all about. First of all, we're dealing with playing cards, and H simply means hearts, D simply means diamonds, and 2H, 2D, 2S, 2C simply means the, the two of hearts, the two of diamonds, the two of clubs, and the two of spades. And so also keep in mind that we have sample spaces. We have samples, or not sample spaces, but we have uh, events A, B, and C. Of course, the sample space here is all of the cards in the deck. And small a, small b, small c simply means the number of sample points in events A, B, and C. So looking at this rule right here, it says, what is the probability of not getting a heart? Well, that is equal to the probability of not getting one of the outcomes in the, in the event A, which means the probability of not A. And that is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. So if you find the probability of not A, it's simply the, prob the probability of everything minus the probability of A. So in this case, this is equal to 1 minus, what is the probability of getting a heart? Well, there are 13 hearts in a the deck, there's 52 cards in a the deck, so therefore it'd be 13 divided by 52, and therefore 1 minus that, which is 52 over 52 minus 13 over 52, which is equal to 39 over 52. And let's see, that would be, that's the end result. So that would be the probability of not A, in other words, the probability of not getting a heart. The second one is here, we have three subsequent things we're going to do. We're going to pull a card, and we're going to see if, what the probability is to get a heart. Then we're going to put the card back. So that means that the events are independent. So these are then independent events. And with other words, you put the card back. Put card back after each pull. All right, so that means it makes it independent events. So we're going to pull three cards one at a time, put it back each time. What's the probability of getting a heart? Then the probability of getting a diamond. Then the probability of getting a two. So that's how we write it. What's the probability of getting outcome in event A, then an outcome in event B, then an outcome in event C? So that would be equal to the probability of getting A, that would be to get a heart, and there's 13 hearts out of a deck of 52, so that would be equal to 13 over 52. Now we put the card back, and then we pull another card. Well, here you have three things that need to happen. Each time there's a certain probability associated with it, to get the probability of doing all three things in a row, we have to multiply the probabilities. So in this case, um, if you want to, of course, yeah, if you want to write in general terms, we can write it like this. It would be A, which is the total, the total possible sample points in A, divided by N, which would be the total number of outcomes in the sample space. We're going to multiply that times B, the total number of outcomes in event B divided by the total number of cards in the deck times the total number of outcomes in event C divided by N like that. So simply 13 over 52 because there's 13 cards that are hard, 52 cards. Then what the chance was the probability of getting a diamond? Again, that would be 13 out of 52. And then again, what's the probability of pulling a two? Well, there's four twos in the deck. 52 cards in the deck would be four times 52. And of course, whatever that is, we need a calculator for that. That would be the probability. Here's my calculator. That would be the probability of, um, of pulling first a heart, then a diamond, then a two. Well, we can simplify this just a little bit because that would be one over four. And then this four cancels with that four. That would be a one. So it simply becomes a 13 in the numerator divided by 52. Well, actually, this can also be simplified as one over four. So make it even simpler than that. So almost don't need a calculator. The numerator is 1, the denominator is 4 times 52, which is 208. And that is the probability of those three events happening in a row. Pull a heart, put it back, pull a diamond, pull a back, put it back, and then pull a 2. So those are the next two examples, general examples, of how to calculate probabilities of a specific type. And there's more to come.